I'd like to get away from the actual family videos for a little bit since you saw a lot of that yesterday. Um, so I'll just give you a little bit of that. And I'd actually like to look at a different different kind of old video, uh, which is actually the one of the one of the first videos that Tristan Santana and I ever did together. And it's like four years old, maybe. So I want to kind of analyze that. This is from July 19th, 2012. So not quite as old as I thought it was. But this, originally we were going to use this for a song that we were doing in choir. It was going to play alongside when we were singing it. But we never ended up using it for some reason. Um, but it's it's the first like long video that we ever really did. So I'll play a little bit for you. Expertly choreographed. Hang on a sec. You see this kid here? This is Paul Velasquez. And if you look in the background, he's in the background of almost every single shot. Except for the ones where he was holding the camera. So keep an eye out for him. Okay, this shot took like six different tries. Because for some reason, I thought Tristan pushing down... Uh, Santana was just hilarious so there's all these outtakes of me walking up and then him pushing him and just me falling down laughing in the middle of the street and I also crushed my mom's flower bed when I did that little jump so she wasn't too happy about it Let me move forward a little bit here okay I'm gonna skip this whole section but the only reason that this random workout part is in here is because we had nowhere near enough footage so we just asked the gym teacher if we could use the exercise room and just filmed basically us working out. So let me skip ahead here because it's boring. I need to tell you something about this next shot really quick. This next shot, Tristan has told me, is his favorite shot of anything that we've ever done. And I can see why because back then, you know, that was it was really, really good. Now, you know, I still like it. It could have been better. I can think of different ways to do it, but I still think it holds up. So he's there. It's Paul again. So you can see why that would be Tristan's favorite, right? Like, it's practically seamless. Obviously, it's not that great because we're sort of limited in the hardware that we had. I just had my little, like, my new waterproof camera. Alright, the stop bullying thing was my mom's idea, and I don't think it really fits because you've got me punching out Tristan, and then right after you've got stop bullying now, and it says speak out. <laughs> but I just use, like, physical violence. Alright, so let's take a look at the most popular video that I've ever made. So I'm not going to go through the whole video because this, this video is already running a little long, but I'm just going to, I'll do some key points and then I'll explain what I think of this video and what I would do differently now. High-pitched voice, terrible acting. A few things went wrong when we were filming this. We had to get into groups, and uh, basically the only thing that was with our assignment was it had to do with a blackout. Um, so we just took up a camera. We didn't use a mic, and we found out later that the camera was set to standard definition, which is why it looks so bad, basically. Uh, and we didn't use, like I said, we didn't use a mic at all, so the audio is kind of bad, too. The acting is subpar. This part's probably my favorite, just because I get murdered. Where's my Oscar? Alright, yeah, that's my most popular video, probably, that I've ever done. It's got 854 views, which is, you know, that's pretty decent, I'd say. Um, and it lets me know that I am improving, because, you know, I don't do stuff, like, as bad as this. So, right? Mm-hmm. 